In this video, I will take you behind the veil of one of the wealthiest and most powerful royal families in the world, the Al Nayan family of Abu Dhabi. How did this family accumulate such a vast fortune? What are their extravagant lifestyles like? And what do they do with all that money? Stay tuned to find out as we explore the secrets and mysteries behind the Al Nayan family's wealth and power. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Now, let's get started. The rulers of Abu Dhabi, the Al Nayan royal family, are known to be the wealthiest of the seven emirates in the capital of the United Arab Emirates. Their wealth can be traced back to the discovery of oil in their territory in 1958. Since then, they have generated substantial revenue from oil royalties, exports, and a vast array of investments, including banking, real estate, and holdings, amounting to an estimated fortune of at least $300 billion. The distinction between the government and the Al Nayan family isn't clear as the clan has ruled the country since its independence, making it difficult to determine the exact proportions of their wealth. Currently, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan's six sons from his third wife, Fatima bint Mubarak Al Ketbi, are the ones who dictate the rules not only in Abu Dhabi but also in other emirates, contributing to the family's wealth. Among the most notable are Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan MBZ, Sheikh Tanun bin Zayed Al Nayan, and Sheikh Mansur bin Zayed Al Nayan. MBZ, who is not only the head of the family and the current ruler of Abu Dhabi, but also the president of the UAE, alone has a net worth of 30 billion US dollars. He is known to be extravagant with his spending, as evidenced by his lavish 1981 wedding to Princess Salama, estimated to have cost 100 million US dollars where he had a stadium built to accommodate 20,000 guests for a week-long ceremony. MBZ's possessions reflect his luxurious lifestyle. He owns the Rabdan, a 73-meter luxury motor yacht worth 60 million US dollars, with a top speed of 27 knots, 15 cabins for guests, and a crew of 16. The Rabdan is only one of at least three yachts from the family's collection, which also includes the world's largest yacht. The Azam, owned by Sheikh Khalifa, Sheikh Zayed's firstborn son and the second president of the UAE. The Azam, owned by the Al Nayan family, is not only the largest yacht in the world, but it is also considered to be the most intricate and technologically advanced yacht ever constructed. Its budget ranges from 400 million to 600 million US dollars, making it one of the most expensive yachts ever built. However, the family's love for luxury and extravagance does not stop at sea travel. They also own a fleet of private jets, consisting of at least five Boeings, including a $450 million Boeing 747 and a $180 million Boeing 787, both of which are large enough to accommodate the entire royal family. Sheikh Tanun, one of the brothers, is the head of the Abu Dhabi Wealth Fund ADQ the country's national security advisor, and the first Abu Dhabi bank. Meanwhile, Sheikh Mansour serves as the deputy prime minister of the UAE, the head of the Emirates Investment Authority, the chairman of the central bank, and the head of the Abu Dhabi United Group, the investment company that owns properties globally, including Manchester City Football Club. The Al Nayan Empire continues to grow, largely due to the royal group, which is a network of companies that operate internationally in various fields, such as tourism, finance, gastronomy, robotics, sports, and entertainment. This conglomerate enables the family to extend its power and influence worldwide, with assets valued at around 300 billion US dollars. The family's vast wealth is also reflected in its numerous properties, including various palaces around the world, and various properties in London, such as the Berkeley Square House. However, the Qasar al Watan, also known as the nation's palace, is perhaps one of the most remarkable properties owned by the Al Nayan family. 
Not only is it the presidential residence, but it is also a cultural and tourist landmark in Abu Dhabi. The palace was completed in 2017 after a long and challenging construction process that took 150 million man hours and cost around 490 million US dollars. Since its opening to the public in 2019, it has been nominated for the World Travel Awards as the main cultural tourist attraction in the Middle East. The palace is indeed breathtaking and a testament to the Al Nayan family's wealth and extravagance. The palace spans an impressive area of 380,000 square meters and comprises several buildings including the main palace, exhibition halls, and a visitor center. The exterior of the palace features a white facade made of granite and limestone which give it a pristine and majestic appearance. Once inside, visitors are transported to a world of intricate and stunning beauty with over 5,000 unique designs of Arab-inspired iconography adorning the walls, ceiling, and floors. The blue and golden details add a touch of elegance and sophistication to the already magnificent interior. One of the most striking features of the palace is the chandelier located inside the Spirit of Collaboration Hall which weighs a staggering 12 tons and consists of 350,000 pieces of crystal. It is so intricate and delicate that it had to be assembled in place, adding to its already impressive beauty. The central chamber of the palace features a dome with a diameter of 37 meters, which is located on top of the Great Hall, the largest room in the compound. The Great Hall divides the building into the east and west wings, with the East Wing serving as the House of Knowledge. The East Wing functions as a museum and houses a collection of artifacts, religious texts, and a library with over 50,000 books that document the cultural, social, and political history of the country. It is a true testament to the commitment of the palace creators to preserving and promoting the rich history and heritage of the Arab world. The West Wing of Qasar al-Watan serves as a variety of political and official purposes, including meetings and banquets with world leaders and partners. Another member of the wealthy al Nayan family is known for his extravagant spending habits, Hamad bin Hamdan al Nayan, also known as the Rainbow Sheikh. With a net worth of 20 billion US dollars, he has amassed one of the world's largest and most impressive car collections. The nickname Rainbow Sheikh is derived from his love of multicolored objects, which is evident in his collection of rainbow-themed cars. For example, he famously ordered a classic Mercedes-Benz for his wedding, which caused Mercedes to temporarily halt production to fulfill his request. The Rainbow Sheikh's passion for unconventional and modified cars is also well known. His collection includes a Mercedes S-Class that has been transformed into a monster truck, an eight-wheeled Nissan Patrol, and a colossal Land Rover Jeep and Dodge Power Wagon that is at least five times the size of a standard truck. This mammoth vehicle even boasts a living room, four bedrooms, and a bathroom inside, making it a strong contender for the title of the most unusual car in the Sheikh's collection. At the top of the Rainbow Shakes collection is his Globe Motor Home, a vehicle shaped like a planet Earth, complete with multiple levels, 9 bedrooms, and 8 bathrooms. While the cost of this luxurious and eccentric vehicle is unknown, it undoubtedly offers one of the most extravagant road trip experiences imaginable. But the Rainbow Shakes collection doesn't stop there. He also owns the world's largest caravan designed to resemble the sand crawlers from the Star Wars franchise. With his immense wealth, it's no surprise that he would commit to such an extravagant vehicle. To house his vast collection of over 200 cars, the Sheikh built a massive metal pyramid garage in the middle of the desert. This garage also serves as a museum and is open to tourists under the name Emirates National Auto Museum. The Rainbow Sheikh's extravagance knows no bounds. Among the must-haves of every billionaire, he owns his private island called Futaisi, covering a vast area of 50 square kilometers. To personalize it even further, he commissioned engineers from Abu Dhabi's National Marine to build a canal spelling out his name across its territory, 
so massive that it could be seen from space. Additionally, the royal family has a fondness for falconry, a tradition that has been passed down from generation to generation, as MBZ used to do with his father. Falconry involves training a falcon to attack on command, and the royal family spares no expense in procuring top-notch falcons that can cost up to 250,000 US dollars. However, the royal family's wealth is not only reserved for their personal indulgences. Following in the footsteps of his brother, Sheikh Khalifa, MBZ is a philanthropist who frequently donates part of his fortune to political, humanitarian, scientific, and cultural initiatives. He has gifted millions of dollars to the UN Global Initiative to fight human trafficking, invested in child vaccination efforts in Afghanistan and Pakistan, provided funding to the MD Anderson Cancer Center of the University of Texas, and supported the establishment of art museums such as the Louvre Abu Dhabi. The family also contributes to the protection of wild animals such as falcons and the Arabian oryx. It seems that the Al Nayan family is willing to share some of their wealth outside of their household. Do you think this level of extravagance is justified or excessive? What other insights or questions do you have about the Al Nayan family and their influence in the UAE and the wider Middle East? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from this channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.